Hello everyone and welcome back to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I'm going to show you how to create a smooth roll transition in Sony Vegas. To start off, we are going to create two video tracks, import our footage and add the effects TV simulator and linear blur to both clips. To be a little bit more specific, we are going to choose the linear blur preset vertical light. After that, we're going to place the clip that we want to show up after the transition above the old one and move it 10 frames backwards so the transition can start 10 frames before the old clip ends. Then, we're going to open the event effects window of our old clip and do some changes to the TV simulator. Basically, you will drag all the effects regulator to the left besides line synths that we leave on the right and vertical synths that we are going to change to 0.1000. Now we're gonna hit animate, go to the very end of the timeline and move 10 frames backwards. Set a keyframe right there and move one more frame backwards and pull the vertical synth regulator to the total right. This will reset the TV simulator effect. After that, we're gonna switch to the linear blur tab and do almost the same. Click on animate, go to the end of the timeline, move 10 frames backwards, set a keyframe, go another frame backwards and change the value of the amount to zero. Now, we're gonna switch to the clip that will appear after the transition. We're gonna change the TV simulator settings once again. Leave the line synths on the right and set the vertical synths to 1.1000. Now we're gonna hit animate, but this time we need to make sure that we are at the beginning of our timeline. Go 10 frames forward, set a keyframe, move another frame forward and reset the vertical synths to 10,000. Now we're only missing the linear blur. So we switch tabs, hit animate, go 10 frames forward, set a keyframe, go another frame forward and reset the blur amount to zero. Finish off the transition with including a fade in and out to both clips and the transition will be completed. I really like the way how the transition looks and I hope I could teach you another cool trick in your arsenal to becoming a better editor. If you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. Any form of support keeps me motivated to create even more interesting tutorials for you guys.